So unfortunately for the intro, we did lose the audio. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Curvis. Welcome to All Purpose Builds. And today we are going to get started on the 2007 Chevy Silverado Duramax. So what we have here is a CSF replacement intercooler with metal end tanks, uh, Dorman fuel tank straps, I believe. Uh, I have some drilled and slotted rotors with ceramic pan pads for the front. The rear brakes look fine at the time. And we have a whole front end kit, uh, front end suspension kit. It comes with front upper control arms, lower ball joints. Um, I have no idea what that is. And uh, hub and bearings for the front, uh, which the truck needs like yesterday. We're going to get started on, first we're going to, Take the wheels off, check how much play the wheel bearings actually have um, because the truck had a really bad shake above 50 miles an hour that came and goes. And you could also hear the wheel bearing actually as you were driving. Uh, the intercooler is because there is a pinhole leak that we noticed when we first picked up the truck. Um, so I, so the, the previous owner did discount the price of the intercooler from the um, overall price of the truck. I'm also doing glow plugs because... I do have a check engine light for glow plugs. And uh, we do, our, our goal is really to get the truck safely. I already have it set up on the lift. I can't go really high because it is a little sketchy since the, it's a long bed. But let's just get to it. All right, guys, so hub and bearings off. It's on the floor over there. Um, kind of trial and error, because apparently I should have tackled it this way initially, but I didn't, so it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna just lay out all the parts now and uh, take off the last few things I need to take off, and then on the next clip, I'll give you guys a layout of everything going on, and then I'll start reassembly on this side. Repeat on the other side and see how far I get because this is I mean it took me an hour alone just to do this side which thinking about it isn't terrible especially because going on is usually much easier than going uh, taking off but let's see So that's going to be a problem, but okay.
So everything's disassembled. I put in, I tied up a sway bar link and I put, I just loosely put in that. I gotta see, try to get the cam bolts as close as possible. Um, I'm decided against doing the tie rods right now. Um, it's been several hours later, so I really, I don't know. I wanna, I, I need to drive this truck home. So um, now I'm just gonna begin the reassembly. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, realistically, I'm gonna slap on the new brakes on this side, compress the caliper, and bind everything up. And then, like I said, I'm not even gonna, uh, if I show you guys the other side, it's gonna be time lapse through the whole thing. But I'll get with you guys once I go to do any of the other stuff if I have time. Um, this might be all for today. But let's, uh, let me get right to it. for today the suspension hub and bearings and everything is done thank you guys for tuning in um, please like comment and subscribe on the next one we're most likely going to do the uh, steering um, rebuild kit and then after that I'll, I'm sure I'll get to the mechanical portion at some point um, once again thank you guys and catch you guys on the next one